and also an important aspect of it, the one who implements the script, uh, the actor. So we have uh, an all-round 360 look, look into it. Uh, in studio, I'm joined with uh, Martin Odongo. Uh, who is uh, the director, scriptwriter. Uh, so he's going to tell us what he does at the Hall of Fame Entertainment. Then I am joined with also uh, Victor Lucici, right? Uh, who is the chairman of Hall of Fame and also an actor, right? Uh, maybe if I've missed out anything in your titles, because I know you guys carry different, you wear different hats when needed be. Uh, maybe you can, uh, let's go through, through that. Yes. We can start with you, Victor. I'm an actor and uh, quite recently I've just uh, graduated to follow in his footsteps uh, as a director and scriptwriter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Martin. And I'm uh, Martin, Martin Odongo. I'm um, a software engineer by profession and uh, in this case now I'm a writer, director and a producer at Hall of Fame Entertainment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the, uh, the center of business. Yes. Hall of Fame. Victor, um, uh, maybe you can tell me. Oh, let's start with Martin. Okay. When it comes to Hall of Fame, what does, when was it started? What uh, does the company entail? Yeah. Well, Hall of Fame uh, came to life in the year 2019. That is after the National Drama Festivals. Um, we saw a need uh, in transition from the drama festival to the professional theater. And that's why we came up with Hall of Fame Entertainment. It was uh, an idea, just a concept, uh, because um, we had a tendency, or rather there's a trend that people finish their drama festivals, then, uh, if not maybe highlighted by specific guys who normally come and attend the gala, uh, they will not be they'll not get the, the light, they'll not proceed to probably develop their talents. So I saw the need, saw the gap, and said, why can't we transition the whole team? Back then I was training at African Nazarene University, then I was also training at the Kabete National Polytechnic team. So I decided to like merge the two teams, mm -hmm. the teams I had trained during that session, the drama festival session. So I decided to match the two teams. We came up with Hall of Fame Entertainment, and um, we decided let's take it and uh, push it up there. Uh, let's 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 like we saw the gap, and we decided let's make um, let's seal the gap by mm -hmm. making you guys go do it yourselves, not where to be called by somebody else. So yeah, that's how uh, Hall of Fame was created. And that year we do we we we, we did some two great uh, professional uh, like acting shows. That is uh, the commercial show we had at Safari Michael Joseph Center. The first show was called Brio. Mm. Yeah. Then we also had an opportunity to do the Secret Court, same venue. Mm -hmm. After that, we had a very big lineup of upcoming shows. And uh, apparently, it's the year that COVID came. Okay. And that is 2020 again. Mm. So in 2020, we are not able to. Do uh, much, do much in terms of business. Yeah, so probably okay. just to keep our relevance, we did short films and uh, short uh, uh, monologues and all that, mm -hmm. just to maintain our relevance and keep the team going, hoping because our business is majorly focused on numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that time, we couldn't even like uh, host uh, an event, not just Hall of Fame, but entirely even stadiums were not being filled. You see, Very true. yeah, so. We decided to go online, but later on, again, in uh, when the like uh, the temperatures uh, uh, went down a little, we decided to go back and uh, did our first show at uh, National Theatre. Mm -hmm. It's everybody, every actor's dream to go to the National Theatre and uh, just like uh, uh, give give the like like do whatever they want. To do. I mean, they do best mm -hmm. acting or maybe entertainment. Okay. So when we got the opportunity, we grabbed it and said, well, God also has uh, reduced the, uh, 
the temperatures on the corona side, let's mm -hmm. take the opportunity. So Fantastic. we did our first show which um, at National Theatre, which is One Big Family. Mm -hmm. The last time we were here, we were talking about One Big Family. Mm -hmm. uh, and now there's a new one. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a new production yeah. that's going to go down, on, I believe, on the weekend. Right? Yeah. So before you even touch on that, yeah. us, I would like to find out Victor on your end. Yes. Uh, tell, tell us, uh, who is Victor? Uh, I know you're the, ch the, the chairman of Hall of Fame and also an actor. Which one came first? Were you an actor? then you joined Hall of Fame or everything developed at Hall of Fame. Briefly, your background. Um, I was an actor first mm -hmm. uh, under his able leadership at Kabeta National Polytechnic. Then uh, I was part of the founding team that uh, started Hall of Fame back in 2019. Uh, I was also elected the chairman then and uh, yeah, I've been the chairman ever since. Mm -hmm. I've been part of uh, most of their projects. Uh, one big family, I wasn't part of it because uh, I was committed elsewhere. But he came and still supported. Um, uh, at that time, I was uh, in Western Kenya mm -hmm. for my attachment. Um, I've recently uh, concluded my diploma and I'm um, continuing with my studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what are you pursuing? I was doing a diploma in automotive engineering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, recently I meant to join uh, uh, KTTC mm -hmm. uh, to do teaching and mm -hmm. also my higher diploma. All right, so it, 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 uh, it, it just gets rid of the whole idea that actors, uh, you know, there's that perception, wrong perception, yes. that actors, uh, like probably people who didn't complete school or anything of the sort, for people in the society who might think that way, or it's not a profession that you can go for. So for you, when it comes to acting, uh, why acting? Um, uh, there was something that uh, Abel Mtua said in one of his show mm -hmm. that uh, the great professions, uh, teachers, mm -hmm. doctors, mm -hmm. have once uh, roamed the streets in riots because of their pay. Mm -hmm. But never even once you've seen an artist go to the street. Yes, some of them struggle, a few of them. But uh, art is the one, one of the most paying and uh, is one profession that you can do it for life. Mm -hmm. um, if, if right now I'm I'm 27 years old, mm -hmm. I act a role of a 27 year old. When mm -hmm. I'll be 80, I'll still be able to act a role of an 80 year old. Mm -hmm. So it it continues like that all the time of the life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, look at um, for example um, a series like uh, The Bold and the Beautiful, mm -hmm. where people the likes of Akina Peter started when they were young until they are old. Uh, at 60s, they're still acting the same and getting paid. So acting is a good profession. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, and, uh, I'm an engineer by profession. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I read somewhere that uh, engineers were the most employed people uh, before COVID, but after COVID, content creators are now being employed more in companies than even engineers. Mm -hmm. There is a gap of creating content and uh, consumption of content is rampant all mm -hmm. over the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. So to you, Martin, when it comes to the theatre business, what sets, what sets Hall of Fame? Uh, what is the niche for you guys? What is so different? What sets you aside from other uh, theatre companies? Well, um, what's so different about Hall of Fame? Uh, like I had mentioned uh, initially, we like create the transition, and we just don't believe on like big names, yeah. As much as uh, it's a big deal having a big name on your set, but uh, we create, we mold you from zero to hero. We've had you at your probably tertiary level when you're still a, a student, and now we're bringing you into this um, industry. Uh, with that level of knowledge. So we want to build the experience. At the moment, I'm speaking about people who I can trust and um, like for, for this uh, coming play, the people who have like worked with the entire journey and I can trust to give them like, I can script for them, having them and their characters in mind and uh, their capabilities in mind. And the personality. The personality in okay. mind, yeah. 
but before you get there you mm. have to walk this person the entire journey you mm -hmm. see so at hall of fame we like train you from zero to wherever you'll be mm -hmm. come show me the interest and the talent you do the auditions and uh, i have a team that uh, works on that most of the times they will take the time he's also coming into the team very soon because he's uh now like he's mentioned he's graduating into a director mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so He's going to assist in the training of the uh, of the uh, of the guys. Like you, you, you've also mentioned, uh, we most I, I think ninety percent of uh, Hall of Fame entertainment um, cast and, uh, and the entire team are uh, either students or people who've gra already graduated. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. Another another key question is mm -hmm. for anyone who's into the acting business. I've I've had this uh, uh phrase a couple of times that we mostly they struggle getting uh, an opportunity mm -hmm. when it comes to major uh production because sure. we tend to see the the same faces over and over mm -hmm. again. Yes. And it's always a challenge to bring a new person on board. What what is the disconnect there? Well, I think let me go first. Uh -huh. Um uh we, we've we've had that notion mm -hmm. and uh there's there's a there's um uh, there's a backlash to the guys who are on screen mm -hmm. that um uh they're staying long on on, on screen but um uh, the challenge i want to put out there mm -hmm. is uh it's not it's not just screen you want to see me on papa shirandula you want mm. to see me on those other uh, like drama production yeah mm -hmm. you want to see me probably doing uh, something that you'll see me on set every probably day every day or, mm -hmm. or every week but it doesn't end there end, end there because theaters are now open theaters are now open you come to theater and you'll watch all these cra crazy talents and um appreciate them the same way you'll appreciate them on the other side somebody once said uh, if you want uh, to see uh, actors go to the theaters and if you want to see celebrities go <laughs> and watch them on the screen <laughs> yeah so if you want to see the actors uh -huh. and uh, crazy talent mm -hmm. you come to the theaters mm -hmm. come to the theaters mm -hmm. the weekends are meant for theaters mm -hmm. come to the theaters and enjoy okay yeah. uh, what about you victor um I think it boils up to especially for you because you're an actor and especially you interact with your colleagues as well in the same industry. Um, uh, with the introduction of Netflix and Showmax, there's mm. uh, there's a rise of uh, content consumption. Mm -hmm. So right now, I don't see an excuse where people would say that, uh, and where actors would say that there are no platforms there, mm. and there's so many and. Uh, and they can even think on a broader spectrum, like yes. the way you've mentioned the other platforms. Yes. Uh, mm. So, as for me, it boils up to uh, how much content can be produced. Because, um, uh, for example, uh, Nollywood. Nollywood produces more movies than even Hollywood. Mm -hmm. The Nigerian company produces more than the US companies. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we're headed there. Uh, it's a step at a time, especially right now that uh, Kenyans are quite... Uh, women who consume more content, especially the Kenyan content. Mm -hmm. And we've also seen uh, the quality of uh, films that are coming out of Kenya has also mm -hmm. increased. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we are headed towards the right, right direction. Uh, for the first time, I can say as actors, we have no excuse <laughs> but to perform. <laughs> there's, no, there's no excuse. Yes. And being an actor, what does it take to be a, a good actor, especially when it comes to... Uh, theater, plays, uh, there's that human interaction on one-on-one. -on -one. So what does it take to be a, you know, a good actor? Uh, first of all, I, I think acting, just like any other profession, you first need discipline. You need to respect uh, the stage. Um, when you come right there, you mm -hmm. know that you have come uh, for business. Somebody, people are paying a uh, thousand bob, they are hard and uh, cash to come and watch you play for two hours. Mm -hmm. It's not a joke. Mm -hmm. And it's business from the first minute to the last minute. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment you understand that uh, people are watu wanajinima kuja kukuona, you now start to understand the impact of that first customer, mm -hmm. the second customer. Once you fill a hole, 
now you understand now you need to do the best that you can be mm -hmm. so it's all about discipline it's about consistency um it's about uh, belief in yourself mm -hmm. and uh, the production that you uh, you are in Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, you mentioned discipline, and I believe time is one of those things when it mm -hmm. comes to theater, right? Yes. <laughs> you have to be on time. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, so, Martin, to you, um, when it comes to the business side of uh, Hall of Fame, for anyone who's watching this conversation, they have been into uh, probably theater business for a while. It could be on the acting side of it, but they are now thinking of the bigger picture of starting uh, their own company. What does that entail? Go for it. Just go for it. That's what I, I can say because, one, mm -hmm. well, you, you, you have to like um, build the self-confidence. Uh, the start will not be easy. <coughs> Excuse me. The start will not be easy because um, you will, especially when it comes to the clientele bit, you will not like instantly get a production and um, get your whole like filled with the audience because that's our market you might <coughs> get to a level that you'll feel like um, maybe i'm struggling a lot but if you have the will and you have the drive and uh, just like don't like keep consistent mm -hmm. consistency is key uh, don't 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 feel like uh, probably i'll never make it keep pushing and also uh, probably now from the production uh, level or rather a point of view, uh, don't, don't rush to uh, spend, like, do your budget well, don't rush to spend much, uh, especially now before you get the clientele. Mm -hmm. um, from our side, we risked so much for our first show because we wanted to make the first impression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we had the ability uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. So we spent so much and we talked to the team because, like I've said, it's a team I've worked with since uh, campus. Mm -hmm. um, um, we just decided not to pay ourselves. For this show, we are not paying ourselves, but we want to make an impact. Mm -hmm. So we invested everything on production. Mm -hmm. All the returns went to production. Okay. And it worked perfectly well. So it, it, it requires that level yeah. of discipline exactly. and level of how much you give into mm -hmm. the company you have yes. to give it your all to that yeah. particular level yes. so i'd like to know uh, how do you choose the um the plays that you produce how do you how do you decide that uh, there's secret code right is secret this secret code, code mm -hmm. and the initial honors we had brio, brio. The secret code yeah one big family one yes big family. so what what, what actually makes you now decide that you're going to do a secret code brio what ignites the, your choice of production like that? Uh, I think, uh, uh, to me, uh, I gradually like produce with experience. Uh. So from 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 uh, when we wrote, or rather we we did Brio mm -hmm. the play, mm -hmm. uh, the biggest clientele was students because they could sell tickets to their students. So the story and they did, relate with yeah, Brio, yeah, the whole, yes. the whole uh, yeah, yeah. memes yeah, Brio, and stories exactly. about Brio's. Actually, it was a, <laughs> uh, sorry to mention, <laughs> but it was a story that had happened before okay. to one of the characters. Uh -huh. So I just decided, uh, let me give them their story. So it was uh, based uh, on um, campus level. Yeah? Then the secret code, still we still held the clientele of students. I still wrote us uh, the... You remember the story of uh, Sharon Obado? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's the story I wrote mm -hmm. about campus girls going out and doing the stuff they do mm -hmm. uh, behind uh, uh, the backs of their parents. Mm -hmm. Parents are not aware and all that. So I wrote that story just to try and enlighten them on how to live in campus. Mm -hmm. That also was uh, the secret code performed at Safari Comical Joseph, uh, Joseph Center. Now, when we stepped out to now National Theatre, there you expect, you don't just expect the audience to be the students only, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You expect a wide uh, or variety of uh, uh, audience. Uh, audience. Yeah. So we decided to take it a notch higher and wrote the story of Nairobi. Yeah, okay. Nairobi, such that uh, one big family, mm -hmm. well, like I say, mentioned last time, it could be called one big bedroom. Mm -hmm. So that's what mm -hmm. I uh, communicated in uh, one big family, the play. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. 
-hmm. Probably I just write uh, gradually from and uh, exposing them now to the like he's acting now. He, he's he's acting a forty-five year old mm -hmm. at the moment. <laughs> How do you transition, yeah. <laughs> Victor, to a forty-five year old man? <laughs> oh, probably, probably <laughs> when you get when you get to the set, you will appreciate that because oh, yeah. it's a whole crazy lot of work. Yeah, there's a whole that team level. that exactly. will work on mm -hmm. that particular yeah. transition exactly. and everything. Yeah. So I, there's this, this there's a time mm -hmm. I I saw it was one of those um, disclosure moments of uh, actors on, on YouTube, mm -hmm. and they were saying that uh, when you act a particular role. Uh, it it might get into you too much, especially if you are, you know, when you when you the way you can get into a role, and then now you're going back to your real life of who Victor is. Yes. So how do do you differentiate that all these emotions? Because at the end of the day, we are humans, and we are. I, I would like to think that we are empath, but mo not all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, that we can all consume all that. We can all do an intake of everything yes. as you get into that role. So how do you get to a place where? You see it and you just like, okay, let me let go of uh, uh, the 45 year old man. Is he's who? What's the name of a 45 year old Simon, Simon. Simon. How mm. do you get, uh, I decide that Simon, this is the place where I'm living, Simon, and I'm going to live my life. It never leaves you. Really? Yes. Um, uh, uh, in 2019, uh -huh. I acted on a play called uh, Canon, with which later I transited to called uh, Square One. Mm -hmm. uh, I was acting the role of Najib. People still call me Najib to death. Mm -hmm. They have never known my name, mm -hmm. but they just call me uh, Najib. It, it, um, it follows you every day. Uh, people call me Najib. Um, I was uh, Moshimiwa at the play, uh, the Secret Secret Code. Code. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, People still call me Mushimiwa. Mm -hmm. uh, those who have related me you, on that play, people who will relate with me on Simon, uh, uh, baby shower, they will, they mm -hmm. will still call me Simon. So, mm -hmm. so it does not leave you. What happens is you need to uh, stay true to yourself. Yes, you need to know uh, who is Simon and who is Victor mm -hmm. and uh, be able to differentiate at a personal level. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <coughs> you wanted to ask something, Martin? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, we, we've, uh, we've had such cases, uh, especially uh, when we go to uh, direct at a high school level. We get a boys' school that is supposed to act a play that has female characters. Mm -hmm. Probably let me just mention on that. Mm -hmm. If you don't, or rather if you're not keen, because as a director, I'll push you and tell you I want the exact female direct, I mean, uh, character in that role. And the students will push themselves and they will, they, they, they will give you the female character in a boys' school. Mm -hmm. So if you're not keen, mm -hmm. uh, and I think we emphasized on this last time, and uh, go through the process of derolling, you let that lady, I mean that guy mm -hmm. be like referred to or rather be perceived as a female mm -hmm. in a boys' school, which is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So uh, to directors, directors and uh, probably producers out there, after a production, just make sure you spend some little time, mm -hmm. um, a week or two, in a, whichever institution you are training. Uh, um, this is especially to high school directors. Make sure you derail that character. Have a session with them, derail, mm -hmm. and make sure he or she comes back to the normal Victor, the normal Fran. The, yes. Like, let not uh, have a continued perception of a male character being perceived as a female mm -hmm. it will get very dangerous mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay now when it comes to because uh, um, when it comes to you on to touch more of the business aspect mm -hmm. of the whole of fame company yeah. so when it comes to open calls mm -hmm. for actors because mm -hmm. we have our viewers our target viewers are young people mm -hmm. young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. people who love uh, they might be also interested when it comes to matters of, of theater mm -hmm. they would like to come for open call open calls open roles for different rules in terms of when you do your call outs. Now I would like to find out what majorly do you guys look for? Like just roughly, yes, but for any particular role or because I know the specification because it's different plays mm. and there's that level of requirement as well. But you know there are always those major major on look 
the things that you look out for mm. when you're looking for when you call out for uh, your open calls for actors so you could take us through that yeah sure um, uh, probably this is just a leakage out there too thank you <laughs> <laughs> we are finally getting leakage <laughs> yeah this is a leakage to uh, actors and actresses uh, mm -hmm. who want to like come for these uh, open calls auditions mm. uh, versatility is key versatility is key uh -huh. what does that that entail i will call for an uh, probably an, an, I'll, I'll call for an audition mm -hmm. of an actress mm -hmm. an actress who can deliver the role i mean the, 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 the role according to my script however if you are an act actress you come give your best and mm. actually you convince me as a as a as a casting director that mm -hmm. you are good mm -hmm and uh, you have some added advantage mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can sing mm -hmm. you have good vocals or maybe you can dance or maybe you are a writer those additional like um, uh, uh, particulars mm -hmm. are very 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 important in uh, when you are coming for the audition mm -hmm. don't come and uh, tell me i'm an actress i'll just do this well i'll have six seven of the same mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. what differentiates you because it's an mm -hmm. open call mm -hmm. there's a high number of guys who are going to request for the audition yeah and probably most of them will give exactly what i'm looking for mm -hmm. so what makes you difference different in, uh, okay. in this context what makes you stand yeah, out what makes you stand out okay. that's mostly what we look at and um yeah mm, especially now for, for one big i mean for baby shower mm -hmm. it's a musical okay it's just not, not just a, a normal play, it's a musical. Mm -hmm. And it has all varieties of we, kinds of entertainment. We have the spoken word, we mm -hmm. have the, the dance, we have, uh, uh, we have the, now the music instruments, and now the acting bit. You, you know, you said it's musical. You know where my mind went? It went to Bollywood. <laughs> 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 hey, Indians, hey, yeah. hey, there's something. <laughs> There was a fight. There was a fight, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. we are saying, hey, "We are saying, hey, mm -hmm. hey, it's very interesting." Yeah, the fight or fight, then. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is someone who starts singing in, in, in the midst of all that chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to being an actor, right? Yes. Uh, you've done this for how long? I've Roughly? been an actor since high school. I ah. started my acting uh, uh, back in Chavakali mm -hmm. in twenty. 2011. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I participated in my first play in 2011, mm -hmm. Bon Voyage, and uh, the Ebo Senator, now aspiring you, governor. Did you do Ofas the, the set books? I never did set books. Ah. Um, yeah, I never did set books. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm more of a theater guy. Oh, theater. Yes. Uh, okay, so when it comes to sharpening your skills yes. uh, as an actor, how do you do that? Because we have people, I, I believe we have, uh, I think it happens in all the industry, when you have learned about a particular uh, skill yes. or a particular profession, yes. you can decide to improve on them, or improve on the skills as well. Mm -hmm. Or you can just decide, to, you know what, I'm good at this. I don't, you know, overly yes. confident, but at the end of the day, you need to uh, up your game yes. and improve on your skills. So how do you do that for you? Uh, flexibility. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to improve and sharpen your skill on a daily basis. Uh, if you do something for 10,000 hours, you become a professor at it. Mm. Yeah, um, you need to act more and more and more. Uh, participate in as many plays as you can. Uh, read, uh, uh, come watch other people play. I, I, I personally watch uh, theater plays uh, just to learn. Uh, from people who have been there. I've been raised from a family where I'm not alone mm -hmm. in theater. <laughs> I have people who have opened the way. Oh. So I really look up to them Fantastic. and ask for advice from them. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the closest people uh, near him. Mm -hmm. uh, I consult and consult. Mm -hmm. Then I repeat and repeat. That's how, I, that's how it works for me. Okay. Uh, once I do something, I repeat mm -hmm. it and repeat it and repeat it until it uh, becomes part of me. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and also I believe acting requires a lot of teamwork, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so I would like to get what sort of personality works best for for you to be in this uh, theatre space. Well, personality in uh, which context? In uh, 
uh, what type of person, or rather, if you, mm. you know, uh, you can have sanguines who are, uh, you know, the life of the party, who those who will or, okay, just mingle okay, with, okay. with everyone. And then we have people who are reserved, but they desire to also be yeah, in the acting yeah. space. Yeah. Uh, actually, you are just talking about a case I'm already <laughs> <laughs> handling uh -huh. at all of them. Mm -hmm. I have those guys. Actually, there's a guy who just uh, doesn't, uh, uh, like his style is different. Mm -hmm. His personality is different. Even if the script is out, getting the lines. You know, it's easier getting the lines when we are interacting with the mm -hmm. probably the person you've been casted with. But that specific character mm -hmm. just, like, needs his own space mm. just silence mm -hmm. maybe with headphones and mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. mastery of lines and uh, when he's done mm -hmm. is when he will come back oh, we have okay. such kind of personalities mm -hmm. and um, also we have those ones who will want some little bit of pressure mm -hmm. just tell them now we have to make sure we have all our lines by evening uh, so oh, okay. yeah so there the are dead. guys who work <laughs> under pressure oh, okay. yeah Okay, yeah. fantastic. And uh, them, they, 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 they probably how, how we try to keep them uh, on, on toes is uh, just making sure they have uh, undercasts, somebody who is understanding uh, their role. Ah. Yeah. So that okay. keeps them uh, more, more, more like uh, teamed up and uh, working, especially at Hall of Fame, working in a team, that's a culture that is, uh, we've already created. Mm -hmm. Our philosophy is always the best performs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have Ten people mastering uh, probably one role, but the best performs. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Fantastic. it has made that family. Uh, uh, I mean, that family uh, concept come in very well, oh, and nice. they're working as a family, which is easier now on my side now. Okay, yeah. good stuff, Martin. I'd like to get another aspect from you. Mm -hmm. um, there is this. Uh, um, we have different platforms now, mm -hmm. and we were going through them with Victor mm -hmm. earlier on. When it comes to actors now being on Netflix, there, there's another, this show mark, there's so many, this, uh, uh, you know, the internet world mm -hmm. now. Now, do you feel like that one will will uh, kill theater? Because now people have access of, uh, you know, movies. I can just do my series. I can watch stand-up comedians mm -hmm. on stage, just through my phone, at the comfort of my phone. What is your take on that? Um, well, it could, it could not. Mm -hmm. It's cooled in a, <coughs> as, um, it's cool because um, internet has become very cheap mm -hmm. and uh, accessibility of such content is uh, Easy. like, mm -hmm. like it's been given to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's, you just need to subscribe probably with the, uh, an amount mm -hmm. lower than yeah. a ticket mm -hmm. at the National Theatre mm -hmm. or at whichever uh, theatre, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's it cooled because mm -hmm. uh, of the accessibility bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I normally say, um, we can never exhaust the audience. Mm. We can never exhaust the And also audience. feel the human experience. Exactly, Just exactly. knowing I can... The live experience. Uh, the live experience yeah. that I am here and mm -hmm. he's there. Yes. Okay. That pulls more people to the theatre. Mm -hmm. And like uh, we've observed recently, there's a lot, a lot of interest coming back to the theatres. And we want to encourage people out there. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want the live experience, don't look at the charges. Mm -hmm. They're very justifiable. If you ask me, actually, they're even lower than uh, what we are supposed to be charging. Mm -hmm. But uh, just look at uh, the, 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 the experience you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You're going to get to meet or rather interact with your stars one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. rather than just watching them. Mm -hmm. And probably also to the directors, uh, okay, well, they know directors and producers out there, the mm -hmm. theater and uh, theater directors to be mm -hmm. precise. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 we will not record and upload mm -hmm. a theater play. We'll just give you a snapshot. Mm -hmm. This is what happened, a mm -hmm. few seconds, so that you create more interest of coming to watch the entire piece. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's the whole point of Rehearsing for an item yes. for maybe three months, yes. and put it out there for free. Yes, and someone actually, you know, created time mm. to come to theatre. It's the business uh, bit, logic. Paid and yeah. everything. Exactly. The way. Okay, what are a couple of challenges that uh, you're going through as an actor, or a couple of challenges that you've gone through uh, through the years that you've been into the acting industry? Um, uh, the main challenge about being an actor is. Uh, of course, monetary. Mm -hmm. um, uh, theater pays, mm -hmm. 
but not at that level that we expect so there's little return mm-hmm. in turn in atufanya as actors you need to go and look for something else then come and work uh, that takes a little bit time from your acting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i think that's the main challenge mm-hmm. but uh um it's uh, we're seeing it um, in as a progress mm-hmm. uh, people are starting to come to theater halls mm-hmm. uh filming them mm-hmm. and um it's a great uh, sign to head to the right direction mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Uh, i think that's the main challenge all right all right so as we wind up uh mm-hmm. martin take mm-hmm. me through uh, baby shower <laughs> 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 yes the new play wow mm. baby shower so yes. baby shower is a it's also a crazy concept as usual we mm-hmm. don't compromise on the content mm-hmm. as whole of them uh baby shower is a script that uh, is majorly um talking about uh, life in nairobi mm-hmm. uh, we have two themes that we are tackling in the piece it's not just a baby shower mm-hmm. we have the theme of abortion okay and we also have the theme of uh, gender inequality and equity when it comes to uh, family level mm-hmm. uh, well there's this um perception or rather mm-hmm. the, the entire traditional perception mm-hmm. or rather how women are uh, uh, looked at mm-hmm. from the traditional way mm-hmm. they weren't meant to like go to the office mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. like they weren't meant to have the rights to ownership mm-hmm. they weren't meant to like uh, they w- they, w- they were they were they were like a cast mm. nobody was like uh, appreciating the women actually if you if you if you read uh, um more from the tradition uh, uh setting mm. women were regarded as a cast nobody was appreciating them gradually we and we in this case is we as men mm-hmm. so it was to empower them we empowered the women we made them who like they are right now we like I'm telling you feminists if they hear this conversation right now <laughs> 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 we empowered them uh-huh. yeah we 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 gave them the right to ownership did you give us or did you actually earn it you earned it thank you through probably our help <laughs> 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 but uh, what we forgot yes is um how to train uh, the boy child on how to live with an empowered lady an empowered like. woman oh, okay we having reverse roles in the family setting and then them not feeling like you know uh, it's competition exactly. or a threat exactly so i think that yeah, okay so that one will be highlighted in baby shower yeah, yes. all different all scenarios yeah, yeah? Yes, yeah so it will incorporate all that yeah, so i'm looking forward that. to it. so when is it happening so the show is happening uh, this coming weekend okay. on the 30th of um uh april oh, that will be on a friday saturday saturday, saturday, saturday yes. okay and uh first of may sunday ah, and, uh, people are not working it's on fridays it's, it's, it's a, a long a weekend whole crazy plan for the weekend yes <laughs> so it's a yeah. plan for the weekend yeah. Yeah. so where is it happening and how much are the uh, the entry entrance uh, tickets yeah mm. uh, okay. um so uh the ticket uh goes for a thousand bob mm-hmm uh, it's going to happen f- uh at uh, the kenya national theater all right uh ukumbi ndogo mm-hmm. um the first show will begin at 6 i uh, will begin at 3 mm-hmm. uh the second show will begin at 6 mm-hmm. um uh, we shall have uh, two shows every day okay uh, on 30th okay. and uh, also first so for shows all right yeah uh book your tickets why are they booking their tickets social media as you wind up so um the uh, the till number is uh, 580 mm-hmm. 6131 580-6131. Okay, and we, we have yeah. actually have uh, quite a number of packages. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have the couple package that mm-hmm. uh, goes for uh, 1600, mm-hmm. 1600. Mm-hmm. The regular is 1000, mm-hmm. couple 1600, then students, mm-hmm. but make sure you carry the school ID. School. Mm-hmm. We are giving you at 500 shillings. Oh, right. But for the 
uh, 3 p.m. show on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Social media handles. Did I leave? You did you leave? Did I leave anything else? Yeah. Okay. There's a group of five oh, also right. package. <laughs> <laughs> group of five. Okay. Yeah, group of five <laughs> package that goes for four thousand shillings. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a discount on that one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Anything else? Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have we have more goodies. Uh -huh. We just want to like make sure you feel comfortable, uh -huh. and that's why we, uh, in partnership with Little Cup, mm -hmm. we are giving you free rides. Oh. We are giving you rides at uh, uh, two hundred and fifty, off. off. Mm -hmm. So if you book a ride with a Little Cup, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you use the promo code Baby Shower mm -hmm. to and from the event, the event for those two days, Saturday and Sunday, this mm -hmm. coming weekend, mm -hmm. you'll be they will slash two fifty off your total fare, which is a very good deal because. Um, uh, uh, most people are from around that probably be spending uh, an average of 400 to 500 shillings. Mm. So half that price is a very good deal. So make sure you have the little uh, uh, cab up and uh, you'll, you, you'll enjoy the ride. Okay. Yeah. Uh, social media? But social media handles. Mm -hmm. um, follow us at uh, Hall of Fame Entertainment on mm -hmm. all social platforms. That all is uh, right. TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter. Hall of yes. Fame Entertainment. Hall of Fame mm. Entertainment. Yes. We have covered everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for creating time to be with us and just taking us to uh, the business of theatre, touching on what it, it entails when being an actor as mm -hmm. well. We appreciate yes. you, Victor and Martin. Thank, Thank you very you so much. Thank you so much for having us. All right. That is our time frame. And uh, as usual, make, the, make sure the conversation, keep the conversation going, yeah? at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. As usual, our time frame from 7 till 10 a.m. right here on Y in the morning. So it's about, it's about time that I bid you goodbye, but make sure you stay tuned on Y254 channel and enjoy the rest of programming. So if you want to follow me across all my social and keep and also have a conversation with me, that will be at Michelle Ashira across all my social media handles and my colleagues uh, handle at Ram Agogo. So make sure you keep the conversation going and enjoy the rest of your day. Keep it here at Y254 channel. We'll see you tomorrow. So have a nice day.